Come on. Hey, moving out.
stop right there. Calm down.
Calm down, you freak. Avenge your pain. Kill! I shouldn't be surprised Dima was willing to murder.
Why do you need a detective? Well, there's been a suspicious death in the hotel. We need someone to investigate. Are you the detective we sent for? Maybe. Tell me what's going on. There's been a suspicious death. We sent someone for help. No one has come to help us yet. Are you the detective we sent for? Yes, I'm the detective. Uh, thank goodness. Let me just open the door for you. The residents and they are very What happened? Who died? It's Mr. Parker, the primary owner and financier for the hotel. This is just a disaster. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. When you're ready, we can discuss your findings. That at the crime scene again? Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, detective. yourself up in a steel hole to escape the bombs. Sounds like trading one kind of hell for another one. Hell yeah. about the case. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Huh? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. Tell me about yourself. Well, 
As you probably know, I'm an actor. I don't like to brag about it, but my last picture, The Fighting Furies, did top the box office. Protect and serve. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault has completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they have... Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault has completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, Funding seems to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parker, and vault won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't like transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold pain in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Are you a devotee of the arts? Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? Art is life. <laughs> Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, 
the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself. This way. Honesty is just politics. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I take the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Hmm? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the arts, yet to see my latest work. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. My work is primarily in oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can that I have. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this Wadivir from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously, who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty. Not that brute actor. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. Did 
Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. I found some evidence that Ezra was embezzling from you and the other investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. You're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Red hair that was the envy of every girl and legs for days, darling. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder business. I must say, you're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right, and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? I must say, I've known flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mm, sounds good, detective. Not sure what the point of building this was. Did you know that I was supposed to star in Love Set Sail? The only reason that bitch Vera got the part is because her uncle was the producer. Did you need something else? I've gotten the impression you've had an affair with Santiago. Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the attention I need. A girl gets lonely, detective. It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? I found a love letter to Ezra in your room. Know anything about it? Oh, Keith. I thought he was finally over him. Tell me about yourself. 
My favorite subject. Simply put, darling, I'm the greatest actress in the world. When this international scuffle blows over, I shall return to the silver screen and lead the world to a new golden age of cinema. Did you need something else? You need to come clean about Keith and Ezra. Look, Detective, I've known about Keith and Ezra for a long time. We're both movie stars, it's just part of the life. Why would I be mad? Did you need something else? What were you and Keith talking about when I came in? Oh, that? We were rehearsing! Gotta stay sharp if we're going to rebuild Hollywood. But Keith always gets flustered when he's upset. Did you need something else? Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with Ezra a few days before he died. Did you happen to overhear any of the conversation? Oh, yes. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume designer. But to get back to your question... It was Fever Pitch, Detective. She had apparently gone to the Overseer's office to check on the state of things and found it in horrible disrepair. But, and this is where it gets interesting, it sounded like she found something that really set her off. Couldn't hear what, though. Did you need something else? Hello, Detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? I found a love letter to Ezra in your room. Know anything about it? I... I should have never written it. I just couldn't take it any longer. Tell me about you and Ezra. Oh god, I don't know. When we first met him, he was just so mysterious and exciting. It seemed like he had been everywhere and done everything. I convinced Gilda that we should invest in the hotel so I could stay close to him. But he never seemed to realize how I felt. I mean, we spent time together. Going hunting, having drinks, talking about his plans for the hotel. He must have known, but he never said anything. Do you have any idea what it's like to pine for someone for 200 years, Detective? Maybe later. Okay, just let me know how I can help. Have you noticed Juliana acting strangely lately? Oh. Well, uh, I'm probably just being paranoid, but uh, she's been so much more pleasant lately. I mean, it's been nice, but also a bit unnerving. Most people don't really understand um, uh, us, uh, uh, but I always appreciated how she can just take charge of a situation. It's what allowed me to focus on my research. I, I'm worried something has happened to her. She doesn't seem like the same person. Oh, was there something else, Detective? What do you mean Juliana's not the same person? My wife has always been a very harsh woman, Detective. I don't know who it is in our rooms, but that is not my wife, Detective. Oh, was there something else, Detective? Tell me about yourself. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Please, just go. Hello, Detective. Did you need something? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff.
have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died, and then who had the means and motive to kill him. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Never mind. I'll be here, should you need me. Is this... blood? Protect and serve. Looks like the brain enclosure was... smashed. Protect and serve. Nice. Baseball bat? <laughs> what is this doing here? Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was hey there, Tiger. Here for more stories about my acting career, or something else? Sure. Keith and I first met when we acted together in Empire on the Nile. It was a period piece, huge production budget. He played Mark Antony, and I, of course, played Cleopatra. Ooh, how I hated that black hair, though. Sean Holzman, he was the director, you see. Well, he threw the most lavish set parties. They were absolutely bacchanalian. Did you need something else? I found Keith's baseball bat at the scene of the murder. Any thoughts on how it got there? I don't know, detective. I can't really imagine Keith killing Ezra. Thank you. 
Detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Tell me about yourself. We went over this before, Detective. There's no motive. Maybe you could give me a reason it couldn't be you. I... I... I would never harm Ezra, Detective. I was... in love with him. I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. Never mind. Good luck catching the murderer, Detective. Come on. Over here. Hello, Detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, Detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, Detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, Detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. Why did you kill- Anna figured out what I was doing, and had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. What's it going to be, Detective? Join me in getting rich? Or- die defending some outdated ideals. Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? He's still here. There's still time to catch him. You did the right thing coming to me, Detective. I've alerted the staff, and we shall converge on him. Quickly, let's go!
finally over. There you are, Detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you.